Hi, everybody. My name is Noam Azran. Um, I'm a rancher and the CEO of Be Free Agro. And we're the creators of the first autonomous herding solution for livestock. Um, my partner and I have been working, we've worked in a few places around the world, a little bit in the US, in Argentina, in Australia. And over the past 10 years, we were, we've been running a ranch together in the north of Israel. Um, so as ranchers, we know that ranchers can spend up to 90% of their time and energy on monitoring and controlling their, pasture, their pastures, their livestock, and their infrastructure. And doing all of this while facing a global shortage of skilled workers and rising operating costs. Um, on our path as, as livestock ranchers, uh, we started using drones around 2014. Uh, and our initial thought was just to get a better grasp of what's going on on our territory and our pastures. Um, and that was great. But we quickly discovered that there is interaction between the drone and the cows. Um, since then, with thousands of hours in the air, um, we have developed and perfected our autonomous herding methods. Sorry, the slide hasn't been moving. No, we see okay. it. So, um, like I said, we, we, we started using drones around 2014 and after doing this for six years on our ranch and basically seeing the huge benefits that came from that, um, we realized that we've discovered a new tool for the trade. When we know that in the last hundred years, apart from cell phones and pickup trucks, the methods that we use are basically the same all over the world. So a cowboy or a ranch hand going out into the field, whether it's on foot or by helicopter or anything in between. Uh, and do the rounds, see that where, how your fences are doing, see the water lines, and see where your cattle are. Um, and so we've decided to create an autonomous system. It's very simple to use. And the system is based after our best herding dog. It's called Joe. Um, and basically, that's our autonomous cowboy drone that's going to offer ranchers a click and herd solution um, that turns off-the-shelf drones into professional cowboys. Using advanced AI, machine learning, and our battle-tested algorithms, all of this processing happens in the, on the cloud in the moment. Uh, and we will be offering this as, for as, we call it cowboy as a service. So like I said, this is meant to be very easy to use. So you basically just open the app, you choose the pasture you want to herd, and choose the destination. After that, you just sit back and our drone takes off and does all the all of, all of the actions necessary to get your herd, understand where they are, map them out, and actually herd them from place to place. And on top of that, we're also working on creating uh, autonomous, um, completely autonomous surveying of infrastructure. So you can tell the drone, you can go out now and check that the fences are up, check that there is water in the trough. And of course, mapping out where your animals are day or night, um, all this with three clicks of, uh, on, your, on your smartphone. <clears throat> I hope you saw the movie. Um, that's very briefly what we're doing. And what we're, what we're coming at is basically with a vision into the future of the livestock industry, of precision livestock agriculture, and bringing this whole industry into the 21st century. Um, we, are, we have two pilot ranches that we're working in in Israel. And this year, we'll be, we will be starting um, pilots uh, in Australia on very large cattle stations there. Uh, and what we would like to use this opportunity to share is that we are looking forward to in 2022 to start some pilots in the U.S. And we, were, we will be very happy to speak with some, um, with some growers there and see what we can do together. Thank you very much. Thank you, Neil. Thank you. That, that's great. Any questions? I don't see any in the chat. I'll pull it up again. But maybe that maybe a similar question that Smitty had uh, earlier around autonomous flight in the United States and those regulations. Um, have you thought about that? Working on that? Yes, of course. There's a lot of work into that, and um, luckily we're not alone. Um, autonomous drones. Um, are the, they're a tool that's coming into many, many, many industries now and countries all over the world are trying to figure out what is the best way to let this happen while have it regulated, basically regulating the airspace, making sure that it's um, safe and working well for everybody. Um, so right now I can tell you that in Israel, 
uh, we have these systems working uh, that they're not, they're, they are autonomous, but you have to have a person at the end of the controller just monitoring it. Um, but again, there's regulation and legislation going forward to create autonomous solutions, uh, sorry, to create, uh, to allow autonomous uh, usage of, of drones. Um, I can tell you that in Australia, there's also a lot of regulation happening right now. And most of the most complicated issue of drone, of autonomous drone regulation has to do in and around cities and populated areas. In many countries now, rural areas, or especially if it's your own land, gives you the opportunity to use, um, to create uh, routes that uh, drones can work autonomously. Uh, you can get specific permits for specific lands or specific areas. Uh, and again, this is something that we are working, working on uh, extensively. And like I said, the world in general, not only in our field, it's, it's well understood that autonomous drones are something that, are, that is here and it's a tool that's going to come and become more and more prevalent in many, many industries. Um, we're just very happy to be the one leading our industry with a solution. Thank you for that. There's uh, another question. How is the drone communicating with the app slash livestock producer via satellite, cell phone, signal? So we use off-the-shelf drones and we have a variety of companies that we work with um, depending on the scale that we need to work in. So if we're talking about small ranches, somewhere between 5,000 to 10,000 acres, we can still use uh, relatively small and cheap DJI drones. Um, there's just a direct connection between the, um, the drone and the controller and the cell phone. And this has an internet, through your phone, you get an internet connection and that happens there. We are, like I said, we're starting pilots this year on very large cattle stations in Australia. We're talking about ranches that have 500 square kilometers uh, and for that, we have drones, we have a range of drones that can stay in the air for up to seven, seven hours um, with uh, 100 kilometer range. Again, it's a different price, price point and it's for a different scale, places that have 100,000 heads of cattle uh, or 50,000 heads of cattle in that kind of scale and range. Um, and for that, some of the, some of the um, a lot of the processing can happen on the drone itself or on the controller. So you don't even need uh, connectivity to do that. A good question. So my expertise in the field has been animal behavior. Um, and apart from training uh, cowboys, I've also trained workhorses uh, and work dogs. So a lot goes into the psychology of these animals and really how you uh, train them to react in a way that they don't get ap apath apathic to what the drone is doing, but the other way around to get them to become more and more responsive as time goes by. Um, the basic principles are very similar to horse training. It's stress and release. Um, and of course, this is embedded into our algorithms and how we approach animals. Uh, and what I haven't mentioned before is all of our herding algorithms, they're all based on the, on the minimum, least amount of stress necessary to move the cattle. Um, I can send, if anybody's interested, I can send some links to videos of our, of our system operating. Uh, you can see that the cattle is very, very calm. There's no running about, there's no banging heads. It's, uh, we create very calm reactions. And again, as time goes by, and it's part of our uh, trade secrets, the, the cattle are more and more responsive from larger, um, from, from farther away from the drone. Um, I hope that answers the question.